Hey everyone, it's Lynn from Hey Lynn Vintage and we're back with bin number two that we got for $6 at that barn sale. So let's see what's inside. A oh, so this seems to be, I think this is like the Anchor Hocking Cubist Georgian Honeycomb, whatever that's called. They do have some that are Viking, but I don't think Viking made these in black. So we'll have to check that out, but I'm sure these are probably the Anchor Hocking. The nice, and these are the black ones. So we have Halloween coming up, so these would be really nice. I believe this is the same type of pattern, just with a pedestal base in also Anchor Hocking, I wanna say, but this is more of a smoked pattern, not quite as dark. Looks like the other one, but maybe taller. Um, like... but this one, this one is amethyst color of that. You can kind of like see that you can see through this one, not quite as dark as that first one. So this one is the amethyst color in that same um, honeycomb pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's a little hand painted little this is a little bit of an amethyst color um like coffee mug type kind of cute no chips or cracks you see the little flower on there that's kind of cute oh, that's cool Ooh, another this is another amethyst glass kind of more in a wave pattern there Nice, heavy, thick glass, though, on it. It did have a price tag of five bucks on it. And painted glass got an H on the bottom. Huh? So this is another hand-painted little, like, drinking glass. Um, it does have a H and then an N underline on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just a little hand painted glass, kind of pretty. Oh, I wonder if that glows. This has some yellow on it. Little like um, wine sherry glass. These all are marked. This one's like marked, has $2 on it. I don't know. It's got a nice pattern on it. Dessert dish or something. A little like amethyst dessert in that honeycomb pattern. It's got a three dollar price tag on it. Got a weird outside on it. This one looks like this one is a little like coffee cup type. And it's got like a, I don't know if that's silver leaf on there or what, little design. Hmm. Hmm. A candle holder or something. A little basic candle holder, but this is, you know, this is older because like the base on this is really heavy. You know, like you see these all day long, like Dollar Tree, whatever has this type of rim on there, but the quality and the um, thickness of the glass is not like this. So that's kind of pretty. Just clear. A little red swirl that would either be a toothpick holder or a votum holder. It's got a really nice pattern on there with that red swirl. Really bright. Glass. Another one of the um, honeycomb patterns, but this is in the amethyst color. Same size as this, but in black. Oh, no, it's not. It's a little bit smaller even of the black mm -hmm. one. Here's the other one. It's oh, wait, pair. there's a pair. So well, that's good. At least there's a set of them. Another amethyst. So 
one's not that sereno or whatever pattern, but it's very close to that. Oh, oh that's that, um, <laughs> yeah, like Caesar's Palace mm -hmm. type looking, um, Wedgwood type kind of design on there. It's not Wedgwood, but has that same kind of design on there, a little like shot glass. Oh, there's another one of those. There's a pair. Oh, so there's a pair of the little amethyst sherberts. So that's good. So then we have it in clear. Same pattern in clear. Oh, oh, that's a little, a little um, that? salt cellar. Oh. I think I would call this a little salt cellar, although it does have like for grooves in it for like cigarette, but I don't, that's really tiny. And it is an amethyst, but I don't know. Salt cellar or ashtray? What do you think? Comment below. Another one, just like it. And there's another one. Maybe they are personal ashtrays. Or, I mean, if not, you could always use them as little salt cellars. They're small enough. Another duplicate to the shot glass. And we can duplicate our Wedgwood shot glasses. So that's kind of cool. We got two of those. This is blue. Ooh, this one's blue in that color. Maybe we'll get a rainbow. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Another amethyst. Oh, another amethyst sherbet. So we have three of these, so that's not bad. on it. How cute is that? Can you see those little daisies? I think there's like a little gold pattern on there too. That's kind of cute. Kind of reminded me of A&W <coughs> root beer at first, the little monk. This is different. It's got like a white inside on it. Hmm. This is, is that like a bronze color on there? Like brown bronze? Like bronze or gold. Yeah, color. bronze with like a blue really can't see color on there, but then the inside is all white. But it is like a more of a brown bronze color. That's shiny. A small this one is black again, but it is smaller than the other black honeycomb um, style glass. Another blue, like, um, sherbet compote little dessert dish. Smoked in the same style. A lot of glasses in this one. All in that blue. same pattern. Oh, yeah. so we got two of the blue. It's always good when we have some sets. So we got two of these. That's good. That kind of looks really good. Oh, we got three of the blue. Well, that's good. That's a nice set with three. You're really shaking the camera. That's we got plates. Oh, that is in that amethyst cubist design on the bottom. Oh, we got two. No, two. There's two of them. No chips or cracks. No chips or cracks. You're really shaking the camera. Oh, sorry. That's it. That is it. So, we'll recap what we had duplicates of. So we had two of the amethysts, 
plates, no chips or cracks. So we did end up with two of those. We ended up with three of these amethyst sherbet type. So two um, of the little juice glasses in amethyst. So those are pairs. And then we ended up with three of these in the blue. So that's good. We ended up with black glass. Um, no, that's amethyst. We ended up with two that were of different sizes. And then this is amethyst, but it's really heavy and dark. And then smoked, we had a small one and then the pedestal one. And then two of the salt shakers or individual ashtrays we weren't really sure on in amethyst. And then we ended up with these three single amethyst glasses that were like this, two pedestal vase and one in the um, that was hand painted that had a handle like a coffee cup. Just this one blue dessert. Two of the shot glasses in like Jasperware or Wedgwood, whatever you want to call that, has that kind of Greek pattern on there. And then these are our singles. We had this one red toothpick kind of uh, votive holder. We had this one little like sherry with like the orange or I'm sorry, yellow pattern on it. And we had this really pretty bronze colored. And then these were all clear glass. So we have this one with daisies on it. We have this one that has the um, silver pattern on it. And then this one drinking glass and then this votive holder that was very thick glass. So all in all, those were the items that we ended up with in our $6 bin. I don't think that that was a bad thing that we did end up with some items that we had matches of. So with that being said, this is Lynn and Scott from Halen Vintage. Thank you so much for helping my channel grow. And with that being said, have a great night, everyone. Thanks for continuing to watch and like and share our videos. And we'll see you real soon. Thank you so much. Night.